classroom, the secrecy is gone. And we're involving the parents. And you can go on yourself every day or every week um, because I'll be updating this on a weekly basis. At the moment, the swathes of red we're not concerned about because these skills haven't been focused on yet. Give him a time frame. Tell him, within two weeks I want to see this week. So if you give him that time frame, he will, he will have a certain target to work with. And what we're encouraging for the students to do is take ownership. So we've got 10 key objectives for the whole year. If you go on the actual website for this, um, under RE, my details are also there. So you can email me or contact me via the DPR. When you're doing group work, I want you to come to the front. This was autumn, this was winter, and this is spring currently. So what we can see here is real progress, yeah. um, quite clearly through yeah. the colours. So obviously red to yellow is excellent progress. Your structural feature, so remember I said to you structure. The FQE one. FQE, so in September, we, we hadn't really done that. But by now, if you have a look here, you are on six out of eight. So already you are consolidating, already that colour has changed, changed. In, in the matter of yeah. a few days. Give me one from here. What's one that you could secure at the end of this term? Turn it green. You can prove to me you can memorise it. Talks. So if we have a look then at your SPAG, you got 15 out of 16. That's really, really good. So And that is clear here, isn't it? So that's good. And there's one other example with his language um, and his interpretations. That's a skill that he's improved on this term. Now, there's still these objectives that I want Adil to focus on because they are still developing. We've just finished the first paper. He was talking about question four. Which key skill is question four? I can write a clear and relevant evaluative response to a statement based on a text. Right? That was question four of language paper one. Now, we've only put you up to developing because we didn't quite get there with, with um, that question. You weren't using the evaluative language all the time. And you didn't even finish it, I believe. You only wrote a very short part for that. He's using keywords consistently. He's able to talk about the impacts of hazards. To be getting a grade eight now is amazing. And you can see how your key objectives have helped you with those marks. So that's something you should be really, really proud of. And you should be proud of as well because it's one of the highest marks. At the school, we're saying these are the most important topics we want at minimum to show a secure understanding because without that, they're not going to be on track to get that grade. That's very important. So all the red, all the orange needs to turn to green and we want your help to chase that up with your children.